Welcome to episode number four from chapter six. And in this episode, we're going to talk about how do we manage our air resources. And just like when we were talking about in freshwater resources in our previous screencast, it really deals with keeping pollutants out of the air. Now, once again, we have our definition of pollutant. Now, this is the second screencast in a row where we've talked about this. So you might want to remember this definition. Whoa. Just a hint. Okay, this is any harmful, any harmful material that can enter the biosphere either through land, air, or water. Okay? Now, the number one cause of pollutants in our air is the burning of fossil fuels. All right? So if we don't burn stuff, specifically fossil fuels, we're going to knock down a ton of the pollution that's in our air. Now, here's the problem with fossil fuels. They can release nitrogen and sulfur compounds. And these sulfur and nitrogen compounds are going to react with water and other materials in the atmosphere, and they're going to create basically nitric and sulfuric acid. And these will fall back down onto the planet in the form of acid rain. Now, rain that is acidic is going to lower the pH that's going to be found in any body of water, and if you lower the pH so much, you're going to disrupt the metabolism of the organisms that live in there. Because remember, lowering the pH uh, will basically denature a protein. And remember, if you change the shape of a protein, you're going to change its function. That's just review stuff from, from Chapter 2. All right, now, also when you burn things, you're going to create like soot and ash. And these create particulates. In other words, small particles. Now this will be microscopic microscopic ash and dust and these will irritate the respiratory system. So if you look down here in this picture, um, these are individuals who happen to live in Beijing, which is one of the most polluted cities in, in the world, and they are actually wearing these masks over their mouth as they're making their way to work, so they're not going to breathe in the particulates. Okay. Now another problem when we have pollutants in the atmosphere is smog. Now smog is something we don't really find in our part of the country, but if you go to Los Angeles, you're going to find a lot of it because of the topography where the Sierra Nevada mountains are going to block uh, the pollutions from being blown across the rest of California. Now smog is a mixture of pollution and fog. It's typically a brown haze, so look over here. If you look over here in the background, that would be the smog. Uh, I find it kind of funny that in this picture, this lady sitting in a park enjoying her nice sweet time in what she would think would be a healthy natural area. But the problem is she's breathing all of this garbage. Okay. Now another thing that also happens when you burn fossil fuels is you release uh, greenhouse gases, and in particular CO2. So we are increasing the amount of CO2 in our atmosphere because we're burning fossil fuels. So what needs to happen to help keep this CO2 levels down is maybe we're going to need more hybrid cars. Maybe we're going to need electric cars. Maybe we're going to need cars that run on hydrogen where their uh, exhaust is nothing but water vapor. Uh, maybe more people could bike. Maybe more people could walk. Maybe we could use... Um, uh, mass transit. So instead of there being 8 million cars on the highway, there could be like 7 buses. All right, I'll mass off a little bit on that one, but you get the point. Okay, So keeping pollutants out of the air is the best way to manage our air resources. So just this single slide for this episode. So until the next time, we're going to catch you on the flip side.